First tonight at 9, 49 days before the start of the fall semester for Houston ISD, and the district remains short on teachers. As of right now, 850 spots still need to be filled. Fox 26's Sherman DeSalle joining us live to tell us how the district plans on closing that gap. And I know, Sherman, you also spoke to a new teacher uh, who's getting ready to start this new school year. Yeah, that's right. Good evening, Jonathan. Houston ISD officials tell me that they are actually hopeful that they will fill this large teacher shortage gap by late August. That's the start of the fall semester. Meanwhile, the local union president has weighed in on this, saying that better wages and incentives are a step in the right direction, but there's still a lot of work to do. We just want to make sure that we're preparing uh, people to be great teachers for our students. The Houston Independent School District is pushing its accelerated certification program for aspiring teachers. There are new incentives in ACP this year. If the district hires that teacher at the end of the one year program, certification costs are reimbursed. Ortiz Middle School teacher Brittany Dominguez just wrapped up her certification in hopes to see more people sign up. Knowing that there are programs like HISDACP um, to kind of help find more teachers who are willing, who are qualified, who um, are going to be supported in such a way that also leads to greater student support um, makes me at least hopeful that we can kind of get over this um, in the future. The latest count from HISD shows they're in need of 850 teachers for the 270 schools in their system. Houston Federation of Teachers say this time of the year, they're usually short of 500 to 600. The wages are more competitive now with a starting salary of $61,500 and a $5,000 stipend if that teacher goes to a school with a greater need. Union President Jackie Anderson believes this will make a difference in the gap, but there's still room for progress. It's moving in the right direction, but we're going to have to do better. Because when you actually consider the starting pay in most of our surrounding districts and in HISD, it does not compare to the work you do. Now, President Jackie Anderson also said it's important to keep in mind that there are several reasons why there is a teacher shortage today. A few of them being that some teachers have simply retired, others have left the profession, and others have moved to other ISDs closer to where they live to make up for the cost of living increases. Reporting live, I'm Sherman DeSalle, Fox 26 News.